I'm with Ethan Gilsdorf, author of Fantasy Freaks and Gaming Geeks, published by Globe Pequot Press. So Ethan, why don't you tell us what the book is about and how you came to write it? Sure. Well, the book is a first-person travel memoir that explores fantasy and gaming subcultures. And the book came about because I was a former Dungeons & Dragons player back in, back in the old days and hadn't played in 25 years and was really curious how the hobby and how the gaming industry had changed over the years and I decided to go off on a quest to explore everything from uh, Tolkien fans, uh, people who play online games like World of Warcraft, live action role playing. I went back to uh, Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, home of Gary Gygax and Dungeons and Dragons, uh, went off to Middle Earth, aka New Zealand, um, and uh, I wanted to find out who are these people who, who are into this stuff? Why do they play games? Why are they such uh, uh, so dedicated to, to, to the fantasy worlds? And that's essentially what the book is about. And what what is one of the reasons that you found that people get uh, are attracted to it, to gaming? Well, I think for a lot of people, I mean, there's some obviously some stereotypes that are not particularly positive about gamers, and I do a good job, I think, in the book to try to debunk some of those stereotypes. I think for most people. Gaming and fantasy provides community. It provides a sense of, um, uh, of camaraderie, of people engaged in some kind of uh, group project. It's like uh, a football night or a poker night, except it's guys and girls sitting around a table uh, playing a game together. And it's, it's, about, it's about people. It's about getting together with, with people who are into what they're doing. So now you'll be at DragonCon this year, won't you, to promote the book? Yeah, I'll be at DragonCon, which is one of the biggest fantasy conventions um, in America, held in Atlanta. And that was a pretty amazing event that I went to last year, and I went to a lot of events similar to DragonCon. Um, but one of the things I did that was probably the most surprising was a, uh, an event in western Pennsylvania put on by the Society for Creative Anachronism. And it's 12,000 people who uh, camp every year for two weeks in a campground, and they dress in medieval period garb and have medieval tents, and it's just a two-week uh, party with uh, medieval food, and there's uh, battles with people in armor. Fascinating. Um, I had to sew my own tunic. You have to go in costume, so I wore my own tunic that I made myself, and uh, that was a pretty amazing event. One of many things in the book that I, um, Let's see that. I'm able to go into deep on. So. Well, great. Well, thanks for your time and good luck with the book. Thank you so much.